These two arguments were always a part of a National Archives collection, um, but it's only by placing them side by side that we see the differences in terms of how uh, both Prime Ministers had, uh, had spoken about this same moment in history whereby um, Singapore joined to form this new state of Malaysia. And here are the proclamations that uh, proclaimed the formation of Malaysia. So we have the proclamation of Singapore joining Malaysia and the proclamation of Malaysia. Members of the diplomatic corps of the government and other guests are in their places on the city steps to await the arrival of the Prime Minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, whose day this is. On these very steps, um, Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew read out the proclamation of Singapore joining Malaysia and behind him was this large billboard of you know, a multiracial Malaysia and, and it reflects the kinds of aspirations that they had for, for the future um, of, of the country. Whereas the proclamation of Malaysia was signed by Tunku Abdul Rahman. It was uh, also read here um, by Tun Razak, the Deputy Prime Minister, um, uh, at these very steps at City Hall, although it was later on also read uh, the next day um, by the Prime Minister of the Federation of Malaysia, uh, Tunku Abdul Rahman. I guess it's the, 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 what was similar between the documents is that they're both very celebratory in nature, it's very hopeful hopeful uh, period for uh, people from the countries joining Malaysia. Uh, and there's a strong belief at that time that, that the merger would be a success. We look at the, the borders of both documents. The Malaysia proclamation uh, features the hibiscus, uh, which was chosen as Malaysia's national flower in 1960. And uh, the borders of the Singapore proclamation features an uh, orchid. The orchid was already associated with Singapore in 1963. One last difference is the difference in the material that the items were printed on. So the proclamation of Singapore joining Malaysia was uh, printed on paper, um, printed with uh, CMYK plus gold ink. Um, whereas you notice that the gold ink on the proclamation of Malaysia is a lot brighter. That's because it is actually written in, uh, it's actually printed on parchment and then later on hand coloured and illuminated with gold. You can actually do a comparison between the two uh, uh, proclamations. The 63 proclamation is very celebratory in tone, in nature, uh, a lovely documents, uh, ornate documents, but the, the latest 65 one proclamation of Singapore is a very simple document, a very, very uh, Spartan looking, uh, no, no borders. Functional document. Very functional document, very functional. yeah. Um, proclamation that Singapore was now for Whole independent. punch, stapled. Whole no? punch, stapled, um, printed on pieces of paper that's even smaller than A4. Yeah. Uh, Filed away probably in some government file until it was, yeah, it was uh, transferred. Possibly due to the, the, the hastiness in which Singapore had to leave Malaysia. So under those circumstances, there wasn't time, there simply wasn't time for them to design an ornate document, to organise a proclamation ceremony, to, to display this in, in a very you know, public fashion. And there's also a more, more uh, I think, sombre moment because uh, there's questions on Singapore's survival. Will, will we survive a standalone country? Maybe the, the, the document also reflects the, 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 the gravity of the situation and the need to very quickly uh, uh, take the steps to, to secure the country's future. Yeah.